So today I am doing another list video, kind of like what I did yesterday. And today's list is some of my favorite YA books. So I have two things to say about this list before we get into the actual video. The first thing is that these are just some of my favorite YA books. I just like looked through my Kindle and I picked like the first however many I saw and I chose from those and I just picked out the ones that I remember absolutely loving when I read them last, which was anywhere from years ago to weeks ago. And the second thing is that I am not talking about John Green books. I just can't do it. I just can't talk about them. If you've never read a John Green book, stop watching this video, go buy The Vault in Our Stars, and just... Okay, so now we can actually start getting into the list of some of my favorite YA books. All of these books are awesome because they just suck you in and or at least they suck me in and I just can't stop reading them once I've started. The first one on my list is Uglies by Scott Westerfield. It's centered around a girl named Tally. Tally or Tolly? I kind of pronounce it in my head somewhere in between the two. Um, but I'll just say Tally, I guess. In Tally's world, everybody's born ugly, which is just normal. So like, any normal person in our society is ugly in theirs. And then when they turn, how old is it, 16? They undergo the surgery and it makes them pretty. Basically, the series of books follows Tally from when we first meet her when she's an ugly all the way through several stages. I don't want to give too much away, but the titles of the books give some stuff away, so I'll just tell you them. It's Uglies, Pretties, Specials, and Extras. They're really good. They're, for me, they were a super quick read. They're thick, like they're thick books, but um, they're not dense. The second book on my list is Fallen Grace by, shoot, I don't know who wrote it actually. Just Google Fallen Grace, you'll find it. And this is a really cool book about a girl who lives in, I believe it's 19th century England. So obviously women did not have as many rights as they do now. And it follows this girl named Grace in England and her life as a lower class girl. I don't want to say too much. I forget how much it says on the back of the book too. And like I personally hate spoilers so much that I will actually actively not watch like movie trailers and I won't like read the back of books because I don't want to have the thing spoiled for me. I don't remember what's on the back of the book and I don't want to spoil anything too much. So I'll just tell you that this girl gets herself into a situation that is not acceptable in 19th century England. And it ends up being like kind of a romance which is like, you know, understandable. It's a, it's a YA book. A lot of YA books are rom romances. And it's just really sweet and I absolutely I absolutely, I just ate that book up. I remember I started it and I think I finished it the next day. It was really good and it's a quick read. All right, so the third book on my list is a really, really good book and it's called Graceling. It's a little more complicated. It's more like uglies in that it's also a fantasy book. So it has kind of a more complicated premise. It follows this girl named Katza and Katza lives in a world where there are these people called Graceling. When you're a Graceling, you have a, a special ability. So you're born normally, and then anywhere from the day you're born to five years after you're born, your eyes change so that they're two different colors. And if you have two different colored eyes, you're a Graceling. And people have all different kinds of graces. There's like swimming graces where you could like swim really, really fast, or bake a made the best bread in the kingdom, or sing the best out of anyone. All different specialized abilities like that. Katz's ability is killing people. She has a killing grace. And this creates all sorts of problems. Something else about the world is that it's divided into a bunch of kingdoms. And Katza is actually the niece of one of the kings. And so Katza actually like works for King Randa. Um, and she has to do killing jobs and she hates it and you know, it's really good and there's all kinds of just like twists and it's really fun. And there's also, there's two more books in the series. There's Fire, which is not about Katza, which is, but which is kind of a companion novel slash 
prequel, I you could say. And then the third book is Bitter Blue, which follows one of the characters who you'll meet in Graceling, and that takes place after Graceling happens. So it basically chronologically it goes Fire, Graceling, Bitter Blue, but um, Kristen Kishore, who wrote the series, wrote it Graceling, Fire, Bitter Blue, and that's the order I'd recommend you to read them in, just because there's like things within them that build up. So yeah, Graceling, really recommend it. So my next book is called Inside the, Inside the Mind of Gideon Rayburn, and it's by this lady named Sarah Miller, and it is freaking awesome. It's so good. The premise is really cool, that a girl is able to, is inside the mind of a boy named Gideon Rayburn. And this boy, Gideon, starts at the school that the girl goes to. Basically, it's Gideon's story, but you're filtering it, you're getting it through this narrator, the girl narrator, who we don't know who she, we don't know who she is. That's, that's like part of the mystery. That's really what makes the book amazing because the, the story is very standard. It's about, you know, new kid, new boy at a new school and he like meets these guys and they're like kind of nice to him but also like are they being mean to him and they kind of adopt him and then he's like you know figuring it all out with girls and he has like complicated relationship with his parents and you know all that all that jazz but what makes it so wonderful is that you're getting it all through a girl's perspective so he'll say like this such and such girl like looks really hot and you'll get that thought but then you'll also get the girl narrator's reaction to that which will be like Gideon thought she looked really hot but he didn't know like the tricks that she was using it's just really wonderful it's so awesome and I have two more books but I don't think I'm gonna talk about them because I can tell that this video is getting really long um so I will just tell you the names of them and put a little information about them in the description and if you're interested in knowing about more books you can read about them um but maybe you've already read them they're pretty they're both really famous or one of them's super famous one of them's like pretty well known the first is the lightning thief and then also the series but i think i think my favorite was the lightning thief and it's just a sick book and then also the mysterious benedict society um it's their book it's so awesome and that's also a series. The Mysterious Benedict Society is a series. Thanks for listening to me talk about all my favorite books. I absolutely love to read, so this is like my favorite kind of video to make where I just get to talk about all the stuff I love. I will see you tomorrow on Mother's Day. Woo! Go get your mama present. Bye!